Good morning, everybody. It is June 4th, 2022. Uh, this morning, I did a live stream as I was driving around doing my, you know, morning coffee run and all that. Came back to the shop, didn't really know exactly what I was going to do. But then I came in here, looked at the joiner and figured, well, I might as well set it up because it's not set up yet. I just got it yesterday. So all I did was um, I ran this piece of black limba through a few times, uh, just trying to get a uh, nice square edge. Your outfeed table has to be exactly right above these blades. Here I have a straight edge and we're just gonna set this on the outfeed table. And what we want is these blades to just barely touch. Let me see if I can get a better shot for you right there. So, you can just barely hear it, right? So if, if you have this outfeed table set at a different height, you're gonna get what's called snipe, which is the end of the board. When it comes through, the blades are gonna take more off right here at the end once the board is up on the outfeed table. So that's basically set up now. Right now it's set up to take off a 32nd of an inch at a time. There we go, joiner set up. After two minutes of explaining, what snipe is. I've got a lot of epoxy filling all kind of cracks and dips and knots and things. So we can t break out the random orbital sander, some 80 grit, go over it, and we'll have a nice uh, semi-finished surface at that point. I also got to sign some gold pans here for um, the website, complete kits and everything. So we'll go ahead and do that next, I guess. All right, so it's way too nice of a day to be in the shop, to be honest with you. So Heather and I are gonna go for our Saturday drive up the mountain. Um, I do have one package of gold that I gotta go ahead and uh, clean up and weigh up and pay the guy. I'll come back and do this later. That's not going anywhere, right? The, bat, the good weather might go somewhere. That is Wyoming, north of us. We're up here at Lookout Mountain. Quick little drive up. Got some Freddy steak burgers and took a little drive. This little thing here is called a cabinet scraper. Basically, it is a piece of spring steel that is burnished, flattened on the top with a file, and then burnished, like pressed down with a hardened screwdriver. Then each of those edges are turned into like hooks. So then you can, you can scrape, right? Very, very uh, small layer of material. See, it's like sawdust, right? Almost. Uh, this is dull though, I just finished. And so I was knocking a lot of epoxy down. But this is a, a great way to get a perfect finish every time. You don't even need sandpaper. Uh, this prevents any kind of swirling with the orbital sander or anything. As you can see here, I just scraped over that epoxy and it's actually smooth to the touch. But I was using it to knock down the higher pieces of epoxy because if I would've went directly to the orbital sander, it would have made little dips and stuff. So I have to resharpen this. So the next step for this table, because I just finished sanded it with uh, 80 grit, I'm gonna take some water, wherever my water is, I'm gonna pour water all over the table and wipe it off just so it's damp. And what that's gonna do, it's going to soak into the fibers that may have been pushed or crushed down during the sanding process and it's gonna fill those fibers up with water, making them stand up. And then so when it dries, I can go back over it with a finer grit, like 100 grit or 120 grit, and it'll make an even smoother finish. All right, so these cabinet scrapers, they always dole out like you just saw from the epoxy or just from using them a little bit. They're not completely sharp all the time, so you have to always sharpen them. So I tighten it down into a vise, pretty close down, I'll take a file 
and you want this thing extremely straight and flat, you just want to take off that the old out, the old edge. Now that that old edge is gone, we have a perfectly flat surface. So now we have to burnish it. So I'm going to take this uh, hammer, just the the round metal part, and I'm going to press down. Make sure it's tight in the vise. I'm going to press down, which is going to flatten that top out. Now I can feel there's a little lip right there. Make sure it's even on both sides. I don't feel it back here as much. Ideally, you would have one pass and it would be done. Okay, now that we have that flat edge, we need to curl it over to make the, the cutting edge. So I'll go ahead and instead of going straight across, I'm gonna tilt this about 45 degrees and bring one pass all the way across on both sides. Now we have a nice little hook cutting edge on both sides. I do the same thing to razor blades to make miniature versions of this. A razor blade, you can do the same process, except you don't have to, uh, you don't have to flatten the razor blade out. All you have to do is bend the existing edge over and it makes a little hook and then it acts as a miniature scraping tool. All right, so I changed my mind again. Instead of white walls and that in the studio, we're gonna go neutral gray, almost black, flat. Uh, that way I can control the studio lighting better. If I need um, white, like a bounce wall, I can always make something for that. Um, yeah, so we'll go ahead and we'll fix this ugliness. All right, well, um, so I bent, down, I bent down to pick up this stupid little paint can opening key. It's been about 45 minutes now. And I mean, it was just on the floor in there after I finished painting at least. It was on the floor on the tarp and I, I bent down, I turned and I bent down to pick it up. No different than what I've been doing for the entire construction of this, this entire building, right? I pick up a, one little key and my back goes out. So if you don't know, I was in the military and I hurt my back pretty bad. And I have about 13 bulging discs in my back and they're all, they've been pretty stable. Um, they're constantly painful, but once in a while, maybe two or three times a year, it'll happen. I'll just, something will happen. And now that it just happened, I remember that usually when it happens, I bend down and turn to pick something up and it just pinches a nerve in the wrong way that I see stars. I went outside and I told, you know, Heather's out there, we're cooking right now too on the grill. I told her what's going on. So she said, all right, lay down in the grass, lay down. So I laid down in the grass. She, she gave me a quick little rub down, did some stretching and everything. And holy cow, I saw stars on that one. And it usually lasts a couple weeks. So um, I apologize for um, probably gonna be, I'm probably gonna be a little bit slower in the next at least week or so. Hopefully it goes quicker. If you've ever experienced ruptured discs in your back, it's pretty painful, but we're not done yet. We're gonna go ahead and I, I have a nice clean paintbrush here. We're gonna go ahead around all the edges. I wanna make sure that we get this done and get it done correctly, but check, check out how awesome this looks. I still have to do all around the edges, but doesn't this look a hundred times better than it did before? I guess it's hard to tell if you're not actually standing here, but this is exactly how I pictured a good studio would be. Now, um, all this concrete is gonna, that's gonna go away. I'm gonna put wood over top of that. We're gonna have a nice wood molding up there. So I'm not even gonna worry about uh, fixing the paint there. But right now I'm just gonna paint the details up, especially up in here around this. And yeah, this is, this is really good. All right, guys, I'm gonna call it tonight. It is seven and seven and a half. I've been drinking whiskey, so uh, I'm gonna go continue doing that. I'm still having some pretty serious back pain, so let's go ahead and finish up with dinner. And this is what I'm eating tonight. 
don't drink alcohol, but when your back is messed up, oh my goodness, this is going to be delicious. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.